there's a fish. There's a fish. Snook. Woo! Immediately. What's going on everyone? So this morning I am out here trying to see if I can finally get a tarpon to start this year off. It's been a kind of slow start for me. My buddy Tate went out the other day and got one, but I've been waking up each morning for the past couple days trying to see if I can get one of these tarpon and I've been striking out each time. So hopefully today's the day, but to start off, we got to try and get some bait. And the quick little thing is I just want to let you guys know that brand new tarpon shirts are out. This is a new uh, design I have for this uh, tarpon season this year. So they are now available at seadoo.com and I'll have a direct link like down in the description. So go check them out and I would really appreciate the support. But right now we got to try and get some bait to get these tarpon. I'm looking for some big pinfish, really just the biggest pinfish I can catch. So I'm on a grass flat right now. Throwing a little bit of dry chum and I'm gonna throw the cast and see if I can get some big pins right quick. Yep. Little pilchard right here, greenback, whatever you want to call them. Gonna take them up here. There we go, just nose hook them right there. Using my Pen Battle 3 2500 with 10 pound braid. On my St. Croix Avid Inshore 7 foot light action rod. And got about a three foot section of 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. I'm just gonna cast this guy up here by the mangroves. See if there's any snook or redfish I want to play. I think it'd be best if I can get it like right up under there. I'm assuming that's where the fish are going to be stacked up. The high tide right now, pretty much peak high tide. So I assume all these fish are going to be stacked up right in the mangroves. Like right over there. Also, I got a size one circle look that I'm using. There's a fish, there's a fish. Snook. Woo! What a jump! Not a huge guy, probably low 20s. I was about to start adjusting the troll motor. This guy popped it. He was kind of far out of the mangroves. Oh yeah, low 20s right there. Awesome fish. He's a jumper. So much fun on this tackle. Come on. Did not take long to get the first bite of the day. Yeah, it's probably like a 24. It's kind of frayed me up. I can see the fray. There he is. Yeah, not a bad snook to start the day on. Not a monster by any means, but solid fish. Get a measurement on him. Right there, 25 inches. 25 inch snook to start the day. Live green back up here by the mangroves. Let's see if we can get a bigger one. There you go, see you dude. Every time you catch a snook, it's smart to check to see if they fried you up because they have very abrasive mouths. And yeah, as you can see, he frayed me up pretty good right there, so I'm gonna retie. I've got one big green back in there, but I'm gonna keep using these like smaller, like two, three inch size ones first. Take them, take your hook right here, and just right through that nostril. Good little spot to keep the hook on them, be able to cast them and keep them lively. But yeah, the wind's blowing right into this pocket, which means it could be blowing some bait up in there too. 
He swam straight out of there. He did not want to be in there. Oh! Snook chased it right here. Oh man, that was not a small one either. There we go. Wonder where that fit. Oh, there we go. Just got eight. Just got eight. <laughs> no, there were low 20s, it looks like. It looks like they're out from the mangroves a little bit. They're not like directly in the mangroves like I thought on the high tide. But another little snook right here. Probably a little bit smaller than the other one. Probably like 22, 23. Oh no, about the same size actually. Come on over here. There he is. Get the hook out of you. Another snook right there. Let's get a measurement on him. About 24. A little bit smaller. Get the release on him right quick. See, dude. Hook him right through the nose. See if we can get one bigger than 24, 25. The one that tried to eat it before when I was reeling up did seem like a bigger fish. This is such a fun size on these 2500s. Anything bigger and then I'll really be in for a, a challenge. Especially with all these mangroves and everything for these fish to break me off on here. Now this is a big bait. This is gonna get a fish's attention. There's a fish. Nope. No. Oh. Snook broke me off, I think. Yeah, snook broke me off. Dang it. Tying on 25 pound leader now. He broke me off because he wrapped me uh, on one of those mangroves and the 20 pound just broke quickly. And the next level up I have is 40, so I'm gonna try 25. That greenie right here. Nose hook him again, size one hook, 25 pound leader now. Immediately, come on, come on out, come on out. still on. I don't know if he's still on. Yeah, he's still on. Oh man. Let's go get this fish. Oh God, and then he breaks me off right there. A huge snook just blew up back there. We get a greenback just retied. I think this is the last live greenback I got. There's one. Come on. Little snook. He's pulling hard though. Come on over. Right around the same size as the other two. This greenback was uh, on its last legs, I'll tell you that. He was not looking good. This guy didn't care. He still wanted it. Come on over.
Probably the smallest one so far. There we go. Another one. Probably 23 if I had to guess. Yep, we're at it, 23. Not a bad day so far. The snook are biting the live bait. That's a pretty fish. See you, dude.